Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel, AJCSE Biology Help. This is video 2 of the Paper 6 Tips and Tricks series where I'll be explaining all about the drawings and how to solve these uh, type of questions. So please make sure to subscribe and like my videos in order to support this channel so I can continue to provide you all with more videos. So let's start. Now there is some general rules or like some stuff you should know before solving this type of questions or some stuff that are like um, marked in the exam. This is the stuff that they are usually looking for in your drawings. So please focus on these rules that I have written down over here. I've tried to like uh, look at all the mark schemes and see uh, what is the thing that they are marking. Now I have collected all of these. So number one, don't draw any details, try to only draw outlines. What I mean by that is if you have a drawing, for example, let's say there is the palisade mesophyll cell. As we know that there is some cells that inside look like this and there is the chlorophyll and there is the uh, plant cells. Now you shouldn't draw all of this. You should only draw an outline like this showing that the palisade mesophyll uh, cell is present and the layer is present just show me that there is the palisade mesophyll and this is for example the epidermis and uh, for example the spongy mesophyll just draw like this for example don't draw uh, details and plant cells like this and like this for example and over here the spongy mesophyll for example no don't draw like this you have to draw just outlines show that the thing is present and that's it don't draw anything further so just try to like draw the minimum thing to show that this layer or whatever thing in the photo is present so that is what's meant by uh, don't draw any details try to only draw outlines number two take care of any labels that are asked in the question now sometimes in the questions in the past papers they will ask you to label something x for example or label the leaf or label whatever uh, so they sometimes ask and sometimes don't ask so this depends on if you really read the question or you didn't so please make sure to read the question and please focus when you are solving the exams because you, you may lose one mark or two marks for not labeling your um, photo which is really something useless like why would you, you uh, why would you lose two marks for not reading the question so please guys focus and read and see if they asked for any labels and uh, that's it so take care of any labels that are asked in the question now number three no shading please guys don't shade any of your drawings just show the outlines with a clear hb pencil uh, just draw like this don't shade some students will get bored in the exam or they're just bored and don't know what to do and will come and shade the pictures like this no, this is not an art class and you're not asked for the shading. So just show the drawing and they're not going to mark your um, like drawing, whether or not it looks beautiful or not. No, they're marking according to the components or the stuff that are present. For example, you really um, made the picture bigger or you made the picture clear or you really showed what's in the uh, image. So they don't mark according to the beauty of the picture. So don't shade, please. And you're going to lose marks if you shade. So um, please, that's something important you should note. Number four, don't draw arrows like this, pointing. Draw like this, just a line. So this is like something not that important, but you, you should do that. So the, like, the drawing looks neater and it looks like more clear. So don't draw an arrow in this, uh, like this, pointing. Just draw like a line. It will uh, show that you are pointing at something. So that's it for this one. Number five, draw the drawing at least 50% larger than the original photo and make sure that the drawing takes up most of the space provided. Now, over here, uh, some students will draw their drawings very, very small. They will sometimes draw it like smaller than the actual image in the uh, exam. So please, guys, make sure that your drawing looks visibly uh, like larger. So, uh, for example, I'll be drawing right now some images and showing you how to solve these questions. But please make sure that your image looks like visibly like larger, at least 50 percent larger. Like just show that there is at least one point five magnification in the image like this. 
so uh, if you guys like want to make sure if your drawing is really larger or not you can do some magnification draw a line across your uh, image and then calculate the magnification so uh, like if you really need to make sure but if you draw it like it looks like it's bigger then that's okay so that's for the students who don't know if their drawing is larger or not you can take magnification Number six, don't use a ruler and don't draw broken lines. Now, what I mean by don't uh, use a ruler, sometimes uh, don't draw, for example, if they ask you to draw like, for example, a leaf stem or whatever, you're going to not use a ruler to draw this, for example, this part of the leaf and then the leaf you're going to like, don't use also a compass. So please add that, don't use a compass to draw circles. You know the compass that we use in the math of course we all know it please don't use it in the when drawing like the circles or whatever draw with your hand draw freehand don't use any rulers compass uh, also let's add and compass so don't use any compass don't use any ruler don't use the anything that uh, you can use in the drawing or the math just use your pencil and your hand don't use anything else and also make sure to not draw broken lines what do i mean by broken lines broken lines are like this for example uh if you're going to draw a line like this normally some people will draw it like this as if they're drawing in the art they're going to draw like this this is called a broken line because as you can see this is not one line so please make sure to draw your line like this looking straight and they're all in one piece don't draw like this one at the bottom so this is what i mean by a broken line so that's out of the way number six number seven read the questions very well to see if a specific segment is required now yes sometimes in the past papers they will ask you to draw something inside the box for example they're going to get you the full picture as we will see in the next questions, they're going to get you the full picture and they're going to ask you to draw something specific in this uh, full picture. So please, as I said, please read the question very, very well because uh, some people will just see the image and just straight up draw without reading. Sometimes they will ask you something extra in the um, rubric or in the question. So whenever you see a drawing question read it very carefully even if you know this is a drawing question you're not going to waste uh, one minute of your time it's just going to be three seconds of reading number eight don't draw the surrounding box in the image now some people will draw and then they're going to draw for example in this one they're going to draw the whole image like this with the box and everything but over here in the question, they, for example, asked for the cross section of an artery. They didn't ask you to draw the everything around it over here. Just draw the um, artery itself. Don't draw the box like this. And don't draw, for example, here, they're going to draw like this. They're going to get the box like this, for example. And then they're going to draw whatever inside. No, you should draw uh, straight up drawing. Don't draw the box and then draw inside the box. No, just draw and uh like you don't need to draw the box around it so this is something that i've seen some students do number nine don't draw individual cells as i said up don't draw anything any details uh for example in the palisade mesophyll cell don't draw the plant cells just draw the outline of the uh, place or the position of the layer so i think this is most of the things that uh, I want you guys to focus on and please don't do these mistakes. So right now I'm going to be starting to solve some past paper questions about the drawings. I have collected some of the drawings questions. So let's start. Figure 2.1 shows a photomicrograph of a cross section of an artery from a mammal. Make a large diagram of this cross section to show the layers forming the wall of an artery. Now over here we're first going to be uh, identifying the layers that are present and how many layers we should be drawing now over here i can see about like four layers i can see that this is a layer but it's not really clear over here but i'm going to be drawing it as a layer over here i can see that it's visibly like this one is uh, lighter than this part so i'm going to be drawing it as a two layer over here so this is a layer and this is a layer of course 
and this is a layer and of course the lumen inside so i think about like four or three layers so we're going to be drawing it and um, I'm not going to be drawing the details inside as you can see here and there's some details over here no just draw the outline and draw um, as neatly as possible as I told you and don't draw like as you can see here it's like zigzag no just draw it as a, a circle don't draw any details as I told you guys and make sure that it's bigger so let's start drawing over here i'm going it's going to be a little bit harder for me because i'm using my stylus and you know so um please don't uh use the stylus when you are solving these questions try to get your hand to be used to the pencil and um try to just solve the past papers using a pen and pencil it's better for you but as you know guys i'm going to be explaining for you and i can't do it on paper or pencil right now so i'm going to be drawing like this a large circle and then i'm going to be drawing another smaller circle inside to indicate that there is a layer so as you can see i didn't draw any details i didn't draw anything and it's visibly larger than the picture over here so just make sure that you don't draw layers don't draw details so just make sure that you just show that there is a layer over here. Now I'm going to be drawing the third layer over here. Last, we're going to be indicating the lumen. So that's it. It's I know it doesn't look that good, of course. But as I guys told you, I'm using my stylus. I'm not that good at art as well. So I just showed that there is a lumen and there is some layers. So that's what they want. Now this is question number two. Figure 1.3 shows a photograph of a slice, uh, slice of an orange. Uh, draw a large diagram of this slice of an orange. Now over here we should be also showing that uh, some people was shading this part to show that um this part is darker. But no, you don't need to draw the details as I told you. Just show that there is a layer. So over here, we're going to be drawing two layers, this layer, and then we're going to draw the separate like parts of the orange like this, and then it's going to form a circle in the middle like this. So let's start drawing. You're going to first, um, you have to first in the question when you see it, in the drawings, you have to just identify what you're going or how you're going to draw it, and then you're going to um like see if there is layers or if there is details over here they didn't ask for any labeling so let's start now over here i'm going to be starting off by drawing a large circle like this and then i'm going to be drawing another larger circle inside and then over here i'm going to be drawing the like pulps or the parts of the orange like this I can do I've shown that there is the like little parts of the orange over here and I've shown that there is a layer outside and there is this uh, part in the middle this part so uh, this is really really simple like this is one of the most simple questions in the paper 6 exam and like you're going to get um, like 6 marks for doing nothing really just drawing circles and just drawing outlines so this is really an easy question in the paper 6 and you guys shouldn't worry about this question at all especially if you're not good in drawing as you can see I'm really terrible at drawing but this doesn't matter Figure 2.1 shows a species which are microscopic algae that live in fresh water. Make a large outline drawing of the algae. Do not label your drawing. So over here, they're not asking for the label over here that is shown here. So they just want the outline of this uh, species of algae. So over here, we have to count the number of the like these things that are hanging out. So there is 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is eight of them. So we're going to be uh, first drawing like a star-like shape. And then we're going to be drawing like a circle in the middle over here. So um, let's start drawing over here. I'm going to be drawing uh, something like this. And then this is the second one. And then this is the third one. This is the fourth one. The fifth. The sixth one. Seventh one. And finally the eighth one. That's it over here. Uh, if you... I'm going to delete uh, something over here, this part. So it's uh, it's not like a broken line. So uh, I tried my best. Of course, you can draw it much better than me, but this is just an outline. And as I told you, it doesn't have to be perfect. So this is what uh, I can come up with right now. And you won't get grades if your drawing looks good or not. So we're going to be drawing. As you can see, there is like this like inner part, as you can see here. In each one of the uh, hanging out parts there is like this so we have to draw this detail it's important this is a major detail so let's draw it Okay, so that is out of the way. We're going to finally draw the circle in the middle. So over here, I want to be drawing the circle. So that's it. We just drew the outline and uh, that's it. So this is the tomato drawing. We should draw a large drawing of the cross section of a tomato fruit. Now, first of all, I'm going to be drawing the large darker outer layer. And then I'm going to be drawing this uh, smaller or uh, lighter inner layer. And then I'm going to be drawing this white part. And then I'm going to be trying to draw these darker outer parts without drawing these like seeds inside. So this is like a minor detail. The seeds, I'm not going to draw the seeds. Just the showing that there is this outer part and there is like a lighter part in the middle so this is um, like my plan on how to draw this one so I'm going to start drawing it I'm going to first start off by drawing a large circle like this and then I'm going to be drawing uh, the lighter inner parts I'm going to be trying to imitate the picture as much as I can picture now I'm going to be drawing the uh, like this part the light part over here this white part but I tried my best now I'm going to be drawing this outer layers Okay, so this is the best I can do in terms of this picture. And uh, that covers up everything I wanted to say about the drawings in the paper 6. And uh, thank you all for watching. And please subscribe and like my videos in order to support this channel. And share it with your friends if you have learned something new so they can also learn. And as always, good luck and please focus and study hard. The exams aren't hard. And um, they are uh, pretty easy if you have studied, of course.